to the chat. <laughs> Episode 20, Pokemon <laughs> Let's Go right. Buy a Nintendo Switch with your host, Jake. Joining me, as always, is Julian, Mitch, Psy Guy, and uh, Ray Cows. Why are you so <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 switched, I switched halfway through. Well, okay. We, we, should, we should really change our nicknames to be what we call each other. Because <laughs> that's, that's just confusing. Since we all... I bet we, we, we all call each other you. our first names. We, I mean, we can start calling each other Tex if we wanted to, but... I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like having my anonymity. I don't want people to know my first name. It's Dan. <laughs> No, you know how easy it is to find me. He's the best nest main in uh, California. Cal- That's where people play Smash, right? No, there's a nest main in California who's really whose tag is Sai Guy, who's really bad. Yeah, and I is have the you? tag first, so I don't know why he didn't do his research because I did my research before I set settle on that tag. I was like, nope, no one else has this. See it. He didn't. I'm on well, YouTube. There, there are two Amsas, he... aren't there? <laughs> one has an H. Yeah, they're one actually H. different. <laughs> to be fair, one has a hyphen. Or do you both have a hyphen? No, he's capital PSI guy, and I'm capital P lowercase SI hyphen guy. Yeah, so so it's different. <laughs> Except that they're set exactly the same way. And Are you sure? He might, because I think he might go by PSI guy. Really? If anything, I think people would assume you go by PSI guy because of the hyphen. Anyway, not important. Yeah, he has all the letters capitalized. Well, if he uh, was all capitalized, it'd go for PSI, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Actually, Dan, you should create a good acronym for PSI. like uh, Pounds per square inch. No, a real one. <clears throat> one that people actually use. Isn't PSI... Like, PSI is a... I've never played an Earthbound game, but I'm pretty sure PSI stands for something. Oh. Someone Google that. Uh, actually, let's go to our first topic about um, <laughs> PUBG. Yeah, player unknown <laughs> we, battleground. We, we tangented before we even got to a topic. So. Can PSI stands for psionic? Ah, so it's just it's short. Psy- that means Nessus stands. And PK stands for psychokinesis. Okay, so. PUBG. First of all, like, why why is PUBG called PUBG Corp? It just player well, unknown. Na- 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 name he made the game and was like, like "Whoa, all this name. money! I need to incorporate." And he didn't think of a good name. Well, I mean, to be fair, he thought of the name before he made the money, and he was just like, "Well," and then he uh, did the, committed flappy birds. Okay, okay, <laughs> but the, the thing is, they're 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 actually a subsidiary of a bigger company. Called Blue Hole. I thought, I thought PUBG was like this dude n- whose tag was player unknown. Yeah. yeah. Created a mod of a game that he Pretty called much. Battleground. Like, yep. I thought that yep. was what it was. <laughs> yeah, but then so they named why their is company. It now like a developer. Yeah, then they named the oh, company. That's what they named the company too. Yeah. He wasn't expecting to get huge. He was doing an asset swap. But they're a subsidiary of a company called Blue Hole, which makes this whole story even more confusing. Well, that was probably later. <laughs> it might Blue be. Hole is just... <laughs> I, I, I would have. To... Okay. I, I, I can understand them not <laughs> wanting to say Blue Hole. <laughs> I, I, I have Why to imagine that um, Blue, Blue Hole helps them with their international release. Blue Hole. Yeah, I don't it's know. like the p- past tense of blowhole. <laughs> It's blue like the color blue. I know, I'm reading the article, but still, when you say it aloud... Yeah. Yeah, no. It's like, in, if you like had a fossilized blowhole, you'd call it a blue hole, because it used to be a blowhole. <laughs> blue hole's website is like oh, some of the most like generic stuff I've ever seen. Like, we build dreams out of the world's best games. Blue Hole promotes vision, dream, and challenge and strives to create high-quality games that more people can enjoy. Oh, oh man. And then a whole bunch of stock photos. I'd blow it. All right, anyway, PUBG. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're suing Epic Games. Mind you, Epic Games created the engine that they made their game on? 
So. Yeah, I. This. So, they had like a working relationship with Epic Games or something. Well, Epic Games is uh, their engine is pretty much anyone can use it. They just have the whole, you know, if you make so much money on here, you gotta throw some our way. Yeah, apparently, oh. apparently, Epic Games was a partner of Blue Hole. Yes. Not a partner of PUBG, mind you. Partner with and Blue they're Hole. trying to claim that they use a relation, they abuse this relationship, and pretty much copy PUBG. Is that oh, the claim? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Okay. I mean, ah, uh, it doesn't Call say. Duty two Battlefield, because those are basically the same game. Those are closer to the same game than PUBG and Fortnite. <laughs> uh. Yeah, are they? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I would say the old Battlefield, yeah, but <clears throat> newer ones not so much. They'd still do just like piggyback off of each other. I don't know, like, there's... Especially visually, there's a huge difference oh, yeah, between PUBG and, and Fortnite. And I think, gameplay-wise, Fortnite like more heavily emphasizes building. Does PUBG even have building? No. No. To be honest, I've never Actually, played, I've never played, played PUBG, either game. So I don't know. Yeah, they I've might. I've never played either game, but played... I've watched. It did not originally. Before. I played two rounds of Fortnite, and I hated it. <laughs> but Fortnite has a huge emphasis on fort building. Yeah. Like, hence the name, Fort. So, like, yeah. they're pretty different. Like, they're just well, the same genre, but they're, they're pretty different. Take place over 14 days. And on my mind here. Unle okay, honestly, un unless they can, like, PUBG can somehow prove that Epic Games, like, knew about PUBG's development and whatever, and using insider information only a partner would know, started <clears throat> producing Fortnite, there's... There's like I mean, no, there's nothing here. Like it's, it's, it's a doomed lawsuit. They did, they did exactly what Call of Duty and whatnot are doing, and they say, "Oh shit, that looks popular. Let's make one." A plagiarism yeah. controversy and allegations that it copied Battlegrounds items and user interface. How do you even prove that? You can't. I mean, to be fair, you you. If it's similar enough, even if it, even if you did it on accident, it's like you don't have to have malicious intent to. <laughs> Is have your user interface protected? Violation. Kind of. Oh, oh my God. Wait, yeah, Not. They, these are also the same guys barely. that tried to sue them over the frying pan, right? <laughs> Where like what? PUBG was the first game ever to use a frying pan. Apparently. That's what I'm saying. How is this even protected? It's not. It's not true at all. It's not true. TF TF2 did it, and that's like yeah, a yeah. similar game. Oh, they, they, people have been doing that forever. PUBG Left actually, for Dead. They were the first. <laughs> yeah, PUBG is... I don't know. There's something else. They're creating... <laughs> buying for attention, because there was another article recently. PUBG is actually at half its user base since June. No, since yeah. June, like most games do. I think they're just trying to... But like that isn't spot, right? that isn't that big of a deal for PUBG, oh. because PUBG is a paid game, not a free-to-play game. Oh, yeah, who cares then? <laughs> yeah, they like, made their money. Like, that's the thing. Like Fortnite needs continuous player bases to remain profitable, but PUBG doesn't. And like half their user base still means like twenty million people. <sighs> like both Fortnite and PUBG apparently have the same max like user counts. Hmm. Approximately, uh, both approximately forty million. Isn't Fortnite just like a better version? <laughs> Basically, like now, Fortnite's yeah, just crazy. winning straight up. It, it's over. Like you're calling it. I, I mean, mean I... <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite is estimated to make way more money than PUBG. I, I've has. never seen anything like this. <laughs> yeah, for, Fortnite is expected to make half a billion dollars this year. It's. It's pretty crazy, and that's incredible. that's it's a free game. Yeah, it's incredible how well free to play games are doing. Free to play games make more money than paid games right now, like straight up. I think that's just kind of cool. Kind, there's good and there's bad with it. Yeah, there's we we could have a whole debate. They're kind of like they couldn't exist without the free to play model. Right. And you have games like uh, well, you, you know, all those other ones. Yeah, like, some types of games would never... Like, a lot of single-player games just 
don't work very well oh, as free-to-play games. Yeah, it has to be multiplayer games as a service model, but, like, there are good ways to do it. To yeah. Do, like, Warframe or Path of Exile or yeah, I think a few others. League of Legends, for all of its flaws, I think does it fine. Yeah. Well, League of Legends was the pioneer, basically. <laughs> League of Legends yeah. was like, hey, did you know, by the way, you could make a free-to-play game and still, like, make money? Make a lot of money because and still be the biggest game in the world. Yeah, free to play games can can drive user bases into numbers that paid games just can't. Yeah, because accessing an audience who's not paying for games, and yet at that at the same time that audience is like, I don't want to spend sixty dollars on a game. It's like I'll spend thousands of dollars on a game I already know I like. I just don't want to That's play. Where I, I just don't I, want to spend it all at once. Well, yeah, and the other thing is, <laughs> I want to know why I like a game before I spend money on it. Yeah, like, I don't want to spend money and then the game sucks and I never play it again. That's a big one with people. See, I get that, but that's really like entitled. Yeah, it, <laughs> I get it. It would be entitled if no one was offering a, a free to play <clears throat> alternative. Oh right, yeah. Like if someone was like. Hey, I should be able to play video games for like back in like the late two thousands before like twenty ten when pirating was huge. That was super entitled. People were like, "Oh, I'll buy the game after I pirate it if I like it." And now no one pirates games. Well, like pirating. Gabe said, "Give a better service than the pirates," and he eventually got to people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Pirating is like not a thing in gaming anymore, and it used to be. Huge. You haven't been to Brazil lately. As I say, outside the U.S., it's still very much a thing, but it's okay. l- less but of like, a big thing. Like in the I, United I States, where you have easy like... access to so many games, like mm-hmm. yeah, like Knack too. People don't really, but people in the U.S., I guess, don't really pirate it. And yeah, I think it's severely free to... down. <laughs> to be fair, we did have that story like ten weeks ago, where that one game that if you pirated it, it would install malware on your computer. <laughs> so it's it's scary, man. You don't wanna you don't wanna go buy any games. You, you the game might install malware on your behalf. Except that game was also accidentally installing malware for people who bought the game legitimately. What game was it? I can't remember what it was. We we talked about it like ten weeks ago. It was just some random indie game. Oh yeah. Because I mean I've heard of fan games that do that, but those are fan games. Yeah, this was this was a like this is like an officially published game yeah yeah it was it was it was on steam and valve oh. took it down because of it it was a published <sighs> game all right anyway PUBG. Who, who, all right who who thinks this lawsuit's got any uh got any got any footing i, think I, it's a good any joke. I mean i don't know lawyer speak so i believe the lawyer term you're looking for is mega dunked I think PUBG is throwing money away. But maybe it'll get them enough attention where they'll make it back, and it's fine. Really? Back to what? They're already on top. <laughs> They've been doing well They've been doing well yeah. enough for long enough. I mean, are the people that haven't already bought the game going to think, oh, they, they're suing Epic Games. I'm going to buy it now. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it, it, gets them in, it gets them in the news, but does it make them money? Well, so maybe it will. Are the, playing the game are also, like, 13 years old. <laughs> Yeah. So they'll think whatever the developers <clears throat> want them to think. Yeah, I, I guess the kids move to Fortnite. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe PUBG is doing this ahead of maybe in like a week they'll announce that they're going free to play. So then they're in the news for this lawsuit. It's in on, on everyone's minds, and then it goes free to play. Maybe that's the maybe that's their game here. That that would be their a play. <laughs> I, mean, I don't Wayne know. Isn't free to play? I I could see some fear of alienating the people who do still stick to it. I mean, what they should have done was after it got huge, just been like, okay, well, I'm just going to take this money and run. Pull all like the old Flappy Bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could have done that, just taking the servers all down and <laughs> called it a day. That would have been horrible. <laughs> and they would never be able to produce another game again. But, all right, anyway, we talked this to death. Kind of. I don't know. Death do us part. All right. 
ESA president defends loot boxes, warns against government regulation. Okay, what, what exactly did he say? Wait, what's the ESA? The Entertainment Software Association. They're the they're the people who do ratings for uh, Europe. Right, the ES oh, oh, for, for Europe. Oh, for okay, Europe. I got it. He's, it's the Europe so, like, CSRB. It's the ESRB for Europe. Okay, so what exactly did he say about loot boxes? Uh, he said that opting... What? Uh, you're cutting out there once again. Yeah, Dan, didn't quite catch that. Okay, so I'm reading the article right now. The last paragraph says the ESA was formed in 1994 as the Interna Interactive Digital Software Association and serves as the trade association for the video game industry. You are 100% right. <laughs> It's also the parent company of the ESRB and operates the E3 trade show. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Now I, I and I know why I thought it was Europe. Now ESA is also the acronym for the European Speedrunning Association, and they're like the European <laughs> GDQ. <laughs> okay. So yeah, my bad. <laughs> anyway, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, what were you saying? It seems like they're just citing the usual gambling definition. Yeah, I, the 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 one thing that he said, the, his main point is that, like, ma like, uh, doing lowest common denominator government regulations will stifle creativity. Well, I agree with that, but at the same time, the developers have had their chance, <laughs> and the, if, the, if the industry oh, was not going to regulate itself, someone has to. They should, they, show, the, they should just have to show. They should just have to show odds. That's that's it. Yeah, that's that's really all I want. That's it. Show odds. They show odds other and they shouldn't be able to change. They should only be able to change odds in, you know, predictable published ways. Yeah, no price yeah. fixing. I, I'm fine. Yeah, with like people, uh, you you lost five times. Here's a guaranteed win or something. Is but like I make it visible. Yeah. Yep. And like don't affect I, the uh, the normal odds with it. Like when you play Magic, yeah, you know that from paid boxes. When you when you open a Magic pack, you know your odds of getting any particular card because they print X amount of you know mythic of each mythic X amount. Yeah. Of... Yep. Yeah. If if. Are in a pack, and you know the chances of that rare being a mythic rare instead of a rare and like you just know all of these things yep yeah i i, like, I agree yeah. loot boxes I don't, I don't being like pokemon boxes. cards is fine i don't have a problem with loot boxes i just don't like them not having odds published see i don't like loot boxes and i'll point there are several Sorry about this, everyone. We'll Bad way. try to get this back online. All right, hold on. Sorry, I was completely offline for about 30 seconds there. So uh, n none of the viewers heard you at all. That's probably good. They've heard me speak about loot boxes before. <coughs> Sam probably sounds I, like autistic screeching, but it's just the right amount of autistic. I personally don't like loot boxes, but I like, from a regulation standpoint, I'm all for loot boxes. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 I I'm, I feel like I'm in the same place. I, like, like, I won't support I them. I'll never buy anyone. them. I think, you know, the free market should determine whether or not loot boxes are popular. And if, you know, the free market says loot boxes suck, then the, the people making games are going to stop implementing loot box. Which honestly seems gonna... to be happening. Yeah. I mean, battle, that Battlefield 5? Battlefield V? I thought it was uh, 1 or something. No, that already happened. 1-2. One, one yeah. <laughs> Battlefield yeah, 1 already yeah. happened, yeah. Oh, my bad. I think it's Battlefield 1-2 we're on, which is technically 5. I'm not really sure, but anyway, they're not, they don't have loot boxes, so... But they're off, like... And that, that's an I... EA game, so, like... Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Way to not mess everything up, EA. But, yeah... Loot boxes. We've talked about them a lot. All right, this is this is probably uh, our mainish story of the week. Oh, Fenar, 
main person isn't here. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully Julian will uh, will work his way back in. But um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, exciting new Pokemon RPG here. for the Nintendo Switch. So my interpretation of how this works is it's Pokemon Yellow, like the game brought into modern graphics. And then when you're catching Pokemon, it plays like Pokemon Go. When you're battling trainers, it plays like a classic Pokemon game. Yeah, that's what it seems like. And yeah, it has wild some encounters. Sort of link with Go. Wild encounters like aren't the same. Like you can't train in the wild. You can only battle against trainers. I think. Yeah, I think how it works is like you have to catch a bunch of the same Pokemon and then you know feed them to each other. What the hell is this controller? I thought that was. <laughs> oh, the controller. Is... The controller so, is uh... the entire. What's up? The entire time I was watching the trailer, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Is, See, is this good? Is this bad? And then so... I saw the controller, and the controller was the <laughs> only thing in the trailer that I knew how I felt about immediately after. I hate it. Really? The Pokeball one? Yes. Yep. The Pokeball controller is hot garbage, and I will never touch it. Yep. Does the, is the stick also a button? Maybe. It looks like it. I, I think there's a button on the top, too. I feel like there needs to be more than one button. I think there's two because it looks like there's one on the top and then the stick. Yeah, and don't forget the yeah, that, the, the motion a, control a... flicking of the wrist as well. So it's <sighs> they are developed by Game Freak, which is kind of promising because you know. So I know it's not an opinion shared by everyone, but I think Game Freak has been doing good with Pokemon. So, like, I think the good I... things about Sun and Moon, right? <laughs> what? Sun and Moon seems to be getting a lot of good press. Yeah, some people don't like it. I mean, I do like it. I think it's a good... <coughs> like, I think that the changes they made were good. The only thing, you know, Alolan Persian and Executor and stuff <laughs> like that. Executor. That kinda, that's kind of... That's fine. As an outsider, fun. I think that's fine. <laughs> have you seen Alolan Persian, though? I have no idea, no. It's kind of alone. I don't even know how to spell that. Alone in. Per oh, I found it. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Um, it's not that bad. Looks like a weird Garfieldy thing with long legs. Like regular Persian just looks so much better. Uh, I mean, they're not supposed to look better. They're supposed to look. They're supposed to fit to an aesthetic. Which is, you know, tropical island. You're right. It does. Normal Persian does look Regular a lot Persian better. Looks... <laughs> Regular Persian looks like tropical more than a lowland Persian. Yeah. Like uh, regular Persian's a jungle cat. This is anyway. That's beside the point. I think Sun and Moon did a lot right, except for some of the lowland forms. Um, oh, and also uh, they. All the new Pokemon have god awful speed. So like, oh yeah, none of the new Pokemon oh, speed. The, yeah, I just read about that. that was so weird. like, the only Pokemon in OU from the new generation are legendaries and like two others. O OU. Uh, over year. It's, it's the second yeah. highest tier in um competitive Pokemon battling. Well, there's okay. two types of Pokemon battling. There's Smogan, and then there's um, the official, like, rule set. I can't remember what it's called. VGC. Smogin... Yeah, VGC. There's Smogan and VGC. Smogan is usage-based, so the a Pokemon's usage determines <clears throat> its legality in different formats. If a Pokemon is used a lot, it's put in the overused format, where it can only be played in overused. And then they have, like, a what's effectively a band list called Ubers, but that's also its own <coughs> format, so you could I just, play in... I imagine it's just like Legendaries, because those have usually have the most stats. Yeah, it's Legendaries, and then like there's some non-Legendaries, like Wobbuffet's an Uber, um, oh. because Wobbuffet's like the only Pokemon with access to both Mirror Coat and Counter, and that turns out to be pretty damn good. Um, I, back when I played competitive Pokemon, I don't really play anymore, but like Excadrill was in Ubers for a little while. Um, Blaziken was in... Blaziken's the only starter Pokemon to ever be in Uber. Huh. I guess uh, that means Blaziken's the best starter. 
Yeah, well, it's a special it way. To, you need, yeah, you need speed boost. Which, you know, if you get it, if you're playing Pokemon Ruby and you get a Blaziken, it's not going to have speed boost. It's going to have Blaze or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, OU is mostly just like Mewtwo and Groudon and like broken stuff like that. Okay. Um, but anyway, as far as Sun and Moon goes, like the Ubers is like or the OU was like all the Ultra Beasts were in OU. Um, all the Tapus are in OU. And then like two new Pokemon. Everything else is worse than that. Every other new Pokemon is not competitively viable. Huh. So my internet decided to go out right when we started the podcast and it didn't come back. So we're talking about how all the Sun, sun Moon Mons are slow. Okay. They are, they are slow. But it's still a good game. Well, I mean, isn't it kind of, I guess, a good thing that not every Pokemon is viable? Or are you saying that, like, none of them are? Like, they're either overpowered or they're not viable? So there's, they actually, I think they invented a new tier in Gen 7 for Smogan. PU? PU? Yeah. And, like, a lot of Alolan Pokemon are in PU. Or a lot of new Pokemon are in, like, PU. Or NU, which is never used. U is the only thing worse than NU, and NU stands for never. <laughs> right. <clears throat> U um, actually doesn't stand for anything. It's just supposed to be like the onomatopoeia for when something is smelly. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. All right, hold up, real quick. I still like some Moonless games. I think they're like. Yeah, it's a yeah that, that was the original yeah. claim: was that it's a good game. I don't. I got okay. sidetracked. I think I think you're saying so in a vacuum it's a good that, game, but compared to the others, the Pokemon don't really compete. The Pokemon kind of ba- are bad, but the game is good. And because in the game you're fighting mostly the Alolan Pokemon, right? So it's it's not like their low speed really hasn't affects them outside of their own. And game. and like the speed doesn't really a big deal because you could just like over level and then you're faster than the Pokemon anyway. Well, that's all Pokemon games. You just over level and then you. That's the main problem harder. with. Single players, you just set up, then the AI is too dumb to stop you. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, in sudden movement, they, they tried to rectify that with um the the Kahuna battles, and like uh the totem Pokemon, which made it a little harder. Yeah, I, I think Pokemon games are just, you know, they're kind of special the first couple you play, and then after that, you, you know, there's it gets repetitive. Really like yeah. if if they start making them very difficult, they're gonna isolate the little kids who you know. I think that's live and breathe that like we all did. I mean, it's it's kind of just supposed to be baby's first RPG, and it's an yeah, excellent fine. game for that. It 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 does an excellent job at being baby's first RPG, and I still have fun with, you know, like I'll I'll boot one up every now and then and have a good old time, but, but like I I can never take them seriously anymore. <laughs> it's just more about like I don't really care about the meta. I just get, catch the ones that look cool and. Level them up because I want to. <laughs> but the the original point I was trying to make is I'm glad that Game Freak is making this game. I think right. that's a good sign. Yeah, I Pokemon needs innovation. I think this is a good sign. Um, really? I'm glad this isn't replacing the core RPGs either because yeah, exactly. I, I was absolutely furious when I first heard <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like if this was, if if like this was quote unquote Gen Eight. And they like introduced zero new Pokemon. They had us go back to Kanto, like all this other stuff. I would have been, yeah, a little bit more upset. Yeah. So this is something interesting. I I don't know if maybe maybe everyone else knows this, but me. But apparently the the Pokeball controller can be used with Pokemon Go. Yeah, it looks yeah. Like that's that yeah. They... the whole point. You can you can integrate Pokemon Go with this game. Yeah, yeah but... so you can transfer your Pokemon Go Pokemon into this game. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I had, like, like, only the original one fifty two days ago, and I used. Wait, hold on. Let me let me finish this thought because that that's not what I was. That part I that part I knew, but apparently the Pokeball controller can let you play Pokemon Go without looking at your phone. Where if you get near a Pokemon, it'll light up, and then you can like throw it, and then it'll tell you if you caught something. You don't know what Pokemon. So you're just gonna look like a fucking idiot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm total. I'm gonna use that wrist strap. I'm actually gonna let go of it. Okay, so if you what. 
what evolutions can you get in this game? Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Wait, I'm pretty sure just the original one. Three? I'm pretty sure just the original three. Uh, it's alright, I guess. By the way, according yeah, to the... At least, like, start with all the ones Pokemon Go is available. You know, three gens. Well, at least Gen 2. Like, Gen 2 is... I think Gen 2 is pretty much critical to the, the Pokemon series, as it supplements Gen 1 very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'd make a similar argument for Gen 4, since that completes a bunch of the evolutionary line. Gen 4 Gen introduces four. physical special split, which, yeah, like, Gen 4... Godson. I am literally yeah. only talking about the Pokemon offered in that. <laughs> but the physical special split was a fucking godsend. Yeah. yeah. No. Wait, was that introduced? That was only introduced in Gen 4? I thought that was yes. a new thing. No, no Gen, Gen 2 four. made special in the special and special defense. Oh, okay. And Gen then, 2 wait. also introduced breeding. The... Wait, and then what the hell are you guys talking about? So, it... In Gen 1, 2, and 3, if you used a fire type move, if you used fire punch, it used yeah. your special attack stat instead of your attack stat. Okay. You know, just because fire type moves are classified as special moves. And, you know, they, there was a, a, a set of types were all special moves, and then another set of types were all physical moves. In, in, hey, you're punching your opponent in the face. Maybe that should be a physical move. So, so... every single move now has. A, like uh either every single attacking move is either now physical or special and yep. it's not limited by type so oh, fire so punch now does physical damage you're saying so, before it was all fire moves regardless of context for special yes now, yep. some yep. fire moves are special and some are physical so you could just play alakazam and have fire punch ice punch thunder punch that was the problem oh. with gen one because out psychic types were broken that yeah, you could do that I with just... mechanic But, yeah, that's actually why they introduced the dark type in Gen 2, was to balance... To counter psychics. Psychics, yeah. And keep finding a chance. Which it sucked at doing, because there was, like, only a handful of dark type Pokemon and only a handful of dark type moves. And they also classified dark as special, when yeah, dark no had, like, bite, crunch, <laughs> and, like, a bunch of other physical-sounding moves, and they're like, yeah, this is a special type. People undervalue what the physical special split did for Pokemon. It, competitive battling basically people like who? Gen 4. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume a lot of people are like me, and they have never looked into the meta, and they only catch what looks cool and use the moves that sound cool. Yeah, that was... I'm going to guess that's most moves, people's experience. Figure out which move to replace. That's my experience. Like, I did when try I was to like, get into, like good breeding once. Oh, Never that's again. Fun. <laughs> Never. That's the, again. Least part. that's the least fun part of competitive Pokemon. They breeding. really need to do something about IVs. IVs are a bane. I mean, every single generation has made it easier to to breed for IVs. This last generation, it, in the bottle cap, that just you give it to a Pokemon and it sets one of their IVs to to the max value. Yeah. Oh, can you just give them like six then and call it good? Yeah, or one golden bottle cap. Oh. The bottle caps are hard to find, man. That's so the like, thing. Can you grind them at least? Yeah, can't you? Can't they be found in the cave on the island thingy? The all oh, the mini game island. I yeah. I think so. See, Isle of Treasure. It's that, what that it's called. That sounds nice, but there were there were IVs and there were other V. EVs. 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 Effort values. The, the EVs you get from like uh, beating specific. So yeah. like you could beat certain Pokemon to get certain ones. You could you do the little punching bag mini game, and, you, and I'm thinking X and Y was the last one I played. And there was also just like those attack up, special up, whatever stuff. Didn't they add so EV like, sharing though? Just, are, the, are the IVs just like the same as those now? No, the IVs are still like when you breed a Pokemon, its IVs are determined. Yeah, I mean like they just happened to introduce a way to fix that. But, I mean, yeah, the, the like, way to fix it just looks like they've made them into EVs, and I would prefer they just take them out. But what do I know? I'm not a competitive player. I mean, the the reason why Game Freak put in IVs was to make your Pokemon more, like, personal and more like... Okay, but wouldn't EVs be better for that? 
And it sounds like they agree to that sentence. Yeah, I mean, I, I I still think Game Freak should just have a method where you can just allocate IVs and EVs, like, post-game. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, that's why I, I haven't like... gotten into competitive battling, honestly, because it's just a pain. It's it's still kind of a pain. See, also, it's, it's gotten easier now, but... Also, don't post like every single like, every... every... stuff. Yeah. 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 That's important. Them. Yeah, natures are important. Literally every single Pokemon game has made breeding per perfect Pokemon, or every single Pokemon generation has made breeding perfect Pokemon easier. Yeah, they, they've made it really easier. Really that. Realized they've realized their mistake, and they're just trying not to overcorrect it. But they're, I think they're moving a little bit too slowly. Yeah, I I agree with Dan. But it definitely seems like oh, we made it way too hard to get competitively viable Pokemon, so we're gonna do things to make it easier and but we don't want to make it too easy so we're gonna be careful about it and just do one thing at a time and see how it affects everything yes that works they should just, they should just make it as easy as possible honestly <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> I don't, it's well, the, only... the, whole, the whole point go ahead oh sorry the only reason you don't want perfect IVs is if you want a specific hidden power or, or if foul want... play or if you or want trick room. room what's foul play uh a, a does damage play. based based on, on the uh, what the the pokemon you're attacking's attack and not yours yeah oh but that's so, just too niche you would still just want max attacky well, well i mean if you're, you're a like... special attacker and you never use attack I guess, yeah. One to like extra true. one or two percent that saves from damage. But wouldn't that be more effective against the, which Pokemon you're facing more so than like how their IVs are? Like, wouldn't the IV be the min max there? I don't know what my point was. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, like, the, the only reason you don't want perfect IVs is for very specific situations. So, like, maybe, like, if you complete, like, it would have to be a difficult to get thing. Like, maybe you complete the Pokedex or something, or you, like, get X amount of battles in the battle thingy tower. Then you get an item that just lets you manually set IVs. That would be great. I think EV training is cool and should stay. IVs are pretty dumb. Yeah. IVs are. I, mean, I, I think IVs, IVs are kind of dumb. I think IVs just be absorbed in the EVs and just become part of the training. No, because you only have a set amount of e you. Two fifty two. IVs you just set everything to max. EVs you only have a set amount. You have isn't it five hundred and ten total? And yeah, exactly. Each set so, can only have two hundred and fifty two. So just yep. you know, you yeah. Increase that number and take away the IVs. <laughs> increase that number, then you can get like even more glass cannony Pokemon, and even because you would just take the extra IVs and. You know, I'm, I'm I don't know. Assume that you know more about this than I do. I disagree. Do, I'm gonna listen, should... I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> I think a good thing for casual play, a bad thing for competitive play. So like, I think maybe you should get an item that lets you set it in the in after you're done with the campaign. Yeah, I I, I said yeah, I agree. You should get an item that lets you allocate IVs post game. But yeah, like it, it's like in Fire Emblem, where like sometimes you have to deal with a bad level up roll. Yeah. Like in Pokemon, sometimes you have to deal with a, a wild Pokemon you catch having bad IVs, and you can either deal with it by, by catching a new one or by you know, if you won't like to get more into the role play aspect, you can be like, no, this is part of my team. This Pokemon like, work. What about the Pokemon you can only really get like one of? I, I guess. Oh. Legendaries are banned, and the rest you could breed. Yeah, the but aren't the mythical just... Pokemon aren't allowed in competitive anyway, so like, okay. doesn't really matter. Be, they are allowed in smoke. Yeah, that's true, but who cares about smoke anyway? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, so do we have a do we have a VGC versus smoke debate? <laughs> Call, we can. <laughs> Call me for Call me for <laughs> Allows me to draw two more Pokemon from the two, from the PC. Anyway, <laughs> Jake has been very yeah, silent and very about... patient. 
Uh, we actually talk about Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go. Yeah. So, so to we uh, should. Be, uh, here's here's an attempt to bring it back. Good supplements to a to a real Pokemon game. All right. Since since I have almost nothing to talk about software wise, let's 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 talk about some hardware real quick. So this this Pokeball Plus thing. So uh, there's a website where they talk all about this thing. One, yeah. there's only one button. It's it's the one on top. The other thing is just a control wow. stick. What? I thought it was a Joy-Con, too. It's it has like it has like like con, like a motion controls. It's motion controls, joystick, and a button. Uh, other okay, so it is so so other 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 interesting things. It's only forty eight millimeters in diameter, so it's about two yeah. inches. What? This thing is it's tiny. tiny. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to fit in your pocket. for ki- Yeah, oh, I could just put that on my key ring. Gotta make sure the kids can hold it. Uh, yeah, the the battery life is three hours, which is kind of abysmal. Oh like that's how, how terrible for hours? a controller. Yeah, it's only three hours because the thing is so small. How do you charge it? Uh, USB C port. Okay. It's got a built-in battery, two hundred and twenty milliamp hour for those who care. But the thing is, it like lights up, it makes sound, and it vibrates. So like, it makes the Pokemon sounds right, like that you put in the Pokeball. Yeah, like the Pokemon. It, it, it's it's like Wii mode esque. Yeah. Like it's like the Wii mode or the PS4 controller. They okay. They have a little speaker on it. I hope that the sound quality is better than the Wii remote. Unless we get another Obia versus Obi Wan debate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember oh. you guys. You guys brought me to your dorm, and you're like, Mitch. Listen to this and tell me what you think. You played that sound. You're like, all right, what did he say? Like the dress is blue, okay, guys. The dress is blue. <laughs> I'm still convinced that everyone who hears Obi Wan is trolling. Also, yeah, I, I, did, I did not hear Obi Wan. I heard just a, a wordless <laughs> screech. That's closer to what I hear. Some. Guy in chat is yeah. Asking I'm, I'm... On music. <laughs> this is this is this is this is a private Discord. We're just yeah. Okay. We 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 just happen to use Discord because we can't always all get together in one room and do this. So Discord we is just never can considering we live in different states. Yeah. Well, you're the only one who lives in a different state. The rest of us all live in Illinois. I'm, but I am also a fifth of this chat. Now people know my first. I am important. We yeah, we have really, definitely yeah. we have definitely mentioned that we're like Illinois before. We talk about Chicago all the time. Yeah, we Chicago does come up quite a bit, as it typically does when you live near Chicago, or any big city, I guess. Blasphemy! Now they know I live near Chicago. Oh, what's next? <laughs> yeah, near. <laughs> all hey right. Guys, my, my social security <laughs> number is. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah i don't know this 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 pokeball controller is absolutely tiny though like i i, I got out of t- I, I got out of tape measure real quick just to see how big two inches is two inches isn't very big <laughs> so that's that's something uh hmm. all right i know julian julian What's what's your what's your quick what's your elevator opinion of uh, of this game of let's of let's go Pikachu and Eevee, let's, let's go, Eevee. go Okay, so when I first of all, I just want to say that I cannot believe that that leak is real. <laughs> Everything in that leak is real. I I could not believe it. <laughs> yep, all of it was a hundred percent true, um, and so much sooner than you like than we all would have expected. Because like the URL and stuff, they bought that like only a few weeks ago <laughs> before putting yeah. this site up and everything like they were they were quick to get this stuff yeah, they, out they were, they were really quick yeah i i, um, almo- so I almost wonder if they made the announcement before they were originally planning to it seems unlikely no, well, but the announcement was like a surprise well they had like a press conference for uh pokemon and no one knew it was happening until like a day before yeah, yeah, I heard that. Mm-hmm. So it does mm-hmm. almost feel like maybe this announcement was rushed a little bit. Like everything yeah. looks fine. It's not like, like it looks like they were all ready for it, but it just so soon after the leak, and it was such a surprise. 
Yeah. I mean, it, the Pokemon, the Pokemon company has been known to do their own thing, like outside of Nintendo. So it, it isn't that surprising, I guess, in retrospect, that they would announce it kind of randomly. Because um, they announced X and Y, like, on a random date, too, what I remember. Hmm. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. That sounds right. I have no recollection. Okay. Uh, but yeah, okay, so when I first heard the news, I was like, there, there's no way this is real, like, from, from the leaks. This is, like, no way Game Freak would do this. The, from, from the way it was sounding, like, this was going to be, like, the core Pokemon RPG from Switch. It was like, if, if Game Freak did this, and they would alienate, like, all of their <coughs> fan base. Well, not really. Well, the, <laughs> the, po the core Pokemon RPG fan base, you know. Oh, they, like, they don't have enough games to play. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, like, it's... alienate, like, come on, man. They come out with a game, like, every year. I meant... Okay, that is nonsense. <laughs> okay, like... It's like every four years, please. Yeah. Is that even true? I yeah. I don't mean oh, just I I don't mean just core RPGs like there's okay. they release oh, a lot of games like, there's a lot like of Pokemon there's, games there's, there's, there's a dumb every app game. every month or some pinball spinoff <laughs> or something right. there there is a lot of Pokemon games out there Pokemon pinball is hype and you cannot convince me otherwise no yeah no that's the best Pokemon so game. I haven't played that Pokemon pinball really? Ruby and Didn't Sapphire is the best Pokemon game ever released. I'll stand by that. Didn't you have a world record in like Actually, one the best of those Pokemon game is probably open or something? I had the number three. I had number three on the leaderboard for a while on Ruby. <laughs> Never world record though. Was it an online game? No. There, there, th no, there, there was, there was a semi-official online leaderboard though that you could like submit uh, pictures of and stuff. So like do you small. think that like one and two were cheating? No. Well, it had to be if they beat Jake. I mean, look at him—he's Jakey. Jakey Jake. Well, number one maybe. Number two was was definitely achievable. Number one maybe, but like, damn, that'd be that'd be like like a seven or eight hour game of pinball. That's a long game of pinball. What was your world record? Uh, it was like a five and a half. It was five and a half hour game, or around there. It wasn't played all at once because I would like pause it and I I did it while I was on vacation. And there's a lot of driving involved, so pause. Segmented. <laughs> yes. It was it was segmented. It's not a speed run. Jake is a cheating motherfucker. <laughs> there's no rules against pausing and there's no way that you could enforce it. <laughs> Unless you required a full video of the run from start to finish. I can't believe Jake did a segmented run in a category that <laughs> that allows for segmentation. Jake, you monster, get out of my chat. I don't like your kind here. All right, sorry though, Julian. I think we derailed your uh your monologue here. Um, well, uh, okay, so... TLDR. I was furious at first, but now I know that the quote-unquote real Pokemon games are, uh, are coming out in 2019, so I'm a lot more open to this. And you're going to get it day one. Also, there is Pokemon Quest. Did that launch yesterday, or what? Yeah, it, it yeah, launched yesterday. Oh, yeah, we should talk about Pokemon Quest real quick, because... download it right now. Because they look like... The characters in the Pokemon look absolutely awful it's to a, me. It's a Minecraft It looks one. like... It's yeah, it looks like Pixelmon. I don't know if you guys know about Pixelmon. The Minecraft mod? Yeah. It's a Minecraft mod for Pokemon that just... I was going to say, they, they, they look like Minecraft characters. Wait, wait, what? Well, I don't know about Jess, but yeah, the, they it mysteriously went down. Pixelmon. Oh, now, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and now the Pokemon company is making Pokemon Quest. Well, they made Pokemon Quest. Oh, my God. Ouch. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, this game looks man nintendo really is buying into the to the mo mobile game market huh <laughs> this is like this is like this is like as mobile game as mobile games get as far as appearances <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i know nothing about the game so pokemon quest is coming out late june 
It's already out on Switch, right? Yeah, it's out on Switch. Yeah. I saw people playing it. Yeah, it's huh. it's out on well, Switch right I now. I just looked up the release date for the phone, so I will. <sighs> I should boot up my Switch. <laughs> I heard it's like terrible, but well, as <laughs> as a mobile game, it's fine. I probably uh, sounds <laughs> sounds about right. Yo, are there like yeah, that's how many? Are there are there, are there like no Pokemon in this? Why why is this on the little site demo thing? They only have like four Pokemon and they repeat them like over and over again. <laughs> My knowledge is only the original one fifty. It's only the original one fifty one. But they're only showing like four. <laughs> it's Eevee, Pikachu, Charmander, the oh, Squirtle, Squirtle, and Ivysaur. Wow, <laughs> I'm I am proud of myself. I got all of those. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? Oh, that is Bul- that, that's Bulbasaur. That's right, because Bulbasaur's got the big fat thing on his back, and Ivy Score's got like the thinner little pod thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just the starters and Eevee. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. For, uh,. On the map. On the map. On the website. Yeah. 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 The actual game's supposed to have the original, all the originals, I think, or something. All right. Booting up my Switch. All right. My next Xenoblade 2 so, controller. Let's go Pikachu. Um, I like what I see. I I like that following Pokemon are back. Um, I think it's fine that you catch Pokemon like in Pokemon Go and you throw the Joy-Con. Uh, I'm just a little nervous about getting reports uh, about people throwing their Joy-Con through their TV. <laughs> you know, just like the good old days. You're nervous. <laughs> You're nervous about that. You're really worried. Well, I'm worried. You know, I'm it's just. Got a, it's got a wrist strap. You can see that, right? Yeah, but the, the Wiimote had a wrist strap, and there were a bunch yeah, of reports. People about... didn't use it. To be fair, well, the Wiimotes are gonna... the Wiimotes are way heavier than the Joy Cons and the this Pokeball thing. Yeah, that's true. way if heavier. Use, if you don't use the the wrist strap, then it's your own fault if something breaks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't be like, oh no, I didn't use my seatbelt and I died in a car wreck. And blame <laughs> the manufacturer for not giving me a way to protect myself. But with the Joy-Con, you have to attach the wrist straps separately. It's not just built into the controller. Oh, it's gonna fail then. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you did. Hmm. You, you just. Cause like the the wrist strap's like a separate attachment thing that has the 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 L and R buttons on it. Cause it comes off mm-hmm. of the, cause like when you slide it into the switch and stuff, there's no wrist straps hanging off of it. So my switch needs to charge a little bit before it'll turn on. Uh. <laughs> keep keep us posted. It's, it's it's been a while since I've used. It. I haven't used it since I beat Xenoblade Two, <laughs> December. You haven't used I'm... it since December. Yeah, I only played Odyssey and Xenoblade 2. I sure. didn't get the new Kirby game, but I have, so, I have such a huge backlog, I told myself I wouldn't buy any new games. <laughs> yeah, I have a backlog too. <laughs> you think you guys have backlogs. <laughs> Here, let me go figure out how long my... How many how many games... Yeah, I have 110 games hidden on Steam that I just gave up on ever trying to play. <laughs> that, has to, that has to be from, like, summer sales and Humble Bundles, though. Summer sales and Humble Bundles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Uh, I think we're about ready to move on from Pokemon here. I still have more to say. It, it looks cool. Uh, Is it going to get people to play Pokemon Go again? I'm already playing Pokemon. Okay, well, from what I heard from people, um, it's that the, the, like, Pokemon Go is still popular around the yeah. world. It's just in America where, like, just, people just stop playing. When it. it came out, it was, like, transcending popular. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now it's just regular pop. Right. Pretty much. Well, I can't get any Pokemon. They want those there, casuals so back. Really I think game. I think this is a really good business move from game. Business move from Game Freak, because they're they're targeting the casual Pokemon crowd that fell out of Pokemon that after like the entire Pokemon crowd. No, I mean like the people who only played Red and Blue, and then stopped caring after that. Oh, okay. You know. And then, like, they got back into Pokemon with Pokemon Go. Yeah, that was a lot of people. 
Pokemon Go was an amazing idea. Pokemon Go, yeah. Yeah. Man, my Switch is docked and I can't even turn it on. <laughs> that's, uh, that's I also like how you can typical. how you can like ride your Charizard and Onyx and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Oh yeah. Uh, I like the look of it. I mean, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna play I'm... it for a couple afternoons and then I'm get, probably gonna <laughs> never play it again. Not well, playing it. It'll be worth it. I mean, Pokemon's one of those games, you know, it holds a special place in your heart. I mean, it's it's nothing compared to Digimon, but, like, it holds a special place right here. Yeah, I'm sure I Digimon a holds a there. special place. Of course. Name Digimon name 10 Digimon. Yeah, I have the opinion that the, po- <laughs> the, the Digimon anime is better than the Pokemon anime, but the Pokemon games... Which one? Digimon games. <laughs> the originals, of course. Ew. Absolutely Ew. not. Really? I saw like two or three episodes on Twitch. It was hot trash. You probably saw that recently, though. Yeah. I mean, the current Pokemon anime is leagues better than anything Digimon has to offer. That's a... X, Y, and Z and Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, like, the best they've ever been. That's what I hear. I heard uh, the I Black and White anime was... I've just seen a few uh, scenes. Yeah, same. I've heard like, that one scene where Brock ripped off his shirt and he's just like, "I'm a manly man," and starts That's like, the meme. <laughs> like, he just you can't beat it. You just can't. I have heard differing opinions on the current Pokemon anime, but a lot of people don't like the art style, but they're stupid. <laughs> the okay. same people who didn't like uh, Wind Waker for its art style, like oh, those kind of okay. people. The same people who don't like the new Battlefield because there was a woman in the trailer, and that's not that's not historically accurate. Like they're, they're just being inclusive. Come on. <laughs> Video game. What? Who cares? It's a fictional it story. Specifically specified that it's alternate history. So like, oh, what the? I, I, what part of this? <laughs> they watched that two and a half minute trailer and like, wow, this is so realistic. And then they saw the woman, and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, complain about anything yeah it's about it's like oh they don't have loot boxes what are we going to complain about now <gasps> there's a woman in the trailer <laughs> god damn it ea the little the games is that really what the controversy behind battlefield 5 pretty much it's yep. that it's not perfectly historically accurate but i mean i thought that was clear i don't get it either <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand the controversy i just I've seen it though. Yeah, I've seen it. Don't make no sense. All right. Anyway, are we, are, are, are we ready to move fast, Pokemon? Yeah. Are we prepared? All right. Uh, I've been talking about Pokemon for hours. Yeah. Well, we've only gotten through three topics in the don't, past don't fifty-five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> well, there are only like six topics, so. There are uh, ten. Huh? Well, ten. I only, I only see seven, Dalton. There are oh I okay I I should say there's seven more browser tabs some of those are both about the same topic all oh. right and I was talking about total Fallout seventy six another Fallout, short little teaser that's caused a lot of controversy Fallout so, is Fallout seventy so they're skipping they're skipping three through or pff, three five so, through seventy five. Uh, 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 Fault 76, according to the lore, is in the capital Laceland, which is where Fallout 3 took place. And it supposedly opened roughly 200 years before it. So, what the rumors seem to say is that it's not going to be a core Bethesda game. It's probably going to be some sort of like games as a service thing or online something or another. We'll see. We really don't know anything about it. Yeah, indeed. Nah, see. If this was that important, it would have been an E3 reveal. Clearly, they got something better. Yeah, I mean, they did do the same thing with Fallout 4. They announced it right before E3. Oh. And then well, there goes that theory. Last year's... Go on. Last year's Bethesda's, show, Bethesda's showcase at E3 was hot garbage. It's because every game they announced was Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> They have Skyrim like in three different conferences. 
<laughs> Skyrim on Switch, Skyrim HD oh, or something. Maybe you want to watch. There's another Fallout or Skyrim, Skyrim VR. Or something similar. Yeah, That's Skyrim all VR. we want from them. And they keep releasing high quality games <clears throat> instead. Like, what? Why? <clears throat> Release your mediocre crap that we all love. Enough <laughs> of this Doom and uh, Dishonored and Wolfenstein shit. Get us the mediocre crap that we've come to know and love from you. Test <laughs> six when. Maybe. Are, are they ever going to like like is that is that going to happen this year? Are they going to are they going to finally announce Elder Scrolls Six? I doubt it. That could last be their E uh, three announcement. That would be the, the last, big. That would be a really big announcement for E three. The last time they considered even speaking about Test Six, they said they haven't started on it. And that was after Fallout Four release, so it's been some time. These things usually take about four or five years to make. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they can't announce it. I don't know they if they're Fallout 4 the same year it released. Same with Skyrim. Really? Okay, Skyrim was the same year plus like five days, but. Huh. No, well, fair enough. Maybe, maybe they lied and they have been working on Elder Scrolls 6. They would have announced it by then. Or by now. <laughs> maybe they started it the moment after they finished saying that they hadn't started it yet. I think they said they wanted to do. A new IP is my understanding. They got, was it Starfield is what people are calling it? Something oh, like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I yeah. guess we'll see. If they announce Test 6, I will be... Like, you told me that they, IET dropped Seduxo, and I explained to you what happened with my uh, reproductive organs. Like, it'll be better than that if they announce Test 6. <laughs> like, not just one wall in the ceiling, but all the walls. <clears throat> Mauricio the says that Elder Scrolls fans have been satisfied with Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> Now, I guess, but excuse me. When it came out, it was hot garbage, <laughs> and it right. stayed that way for a while. It's not even remotely. So I don't know about in our Skyrim in terms of gameplay. It's nothing like them. That's that's what he said. I hope he was joking. No, because I see nothing other in like the other subreddits, like the Bethesda subreddits, about people just bitching about how their test six hasn't even been discussed yet. <laughs> <laughs> The fans are not satisfied. Like, you've seen all the memes. Like, oh, we're going to get Skyrim running on this machine now. Yeah. <laughs> Skyrim running on the toaster. Skyrim on my calculator. Skyrim on the moon rock. Skyrim on your pit boy. Skyrim on your pit Skyrim boy. Skyrim on your pit boy. <laughs> <laughs> that could probably actually be done with a mod. It sounds like this is Elder Scrolls Online, but in Fall but with Fallout. Hey, it might just be like Fallout Shelter 2. Or that. So what I'm hoping they do is they for the next Fallout they split it into two games and we have Fallout 76, which is just a settlement building. And we have a real Fallout game, which is the RPG. In a couple of years. That's my personal pick. Because the settlement building kind of in Fallout 4, while it was cool, it really did detract from the game. It was like, the game really only needed one or two, maybe three spots to build settlements. It didn't need 15 to 18 and whatever it had. They could have just like given you a few and then actually made a quality game instead of the crap we got. Is my two cents. Hmm. All right. Uh, moving forward. Fallout 4 was a disappointment. <laughs> Team Sonic Racing announced what? for PlayStation 4, fast, Xbox One. He drives fast, he hoverboards fast, it's all fast. Why? Oh, no, no, no. See, if they ran, then he'd win every time. Driving in cars makes it fair. Couldn't he just limit himself if he ran? That's, that's, not a race, that's just be stupid. <laughs> yeah. What would I, be the point? Okay. But like in the trailer, he's racing Shadow, who runs as fast, if not faster, than Sonic. Yeah, what the rest of the characters With do. the shoes. But either way, like if like if Amy was in the racers or like you, Knuckles you or something, that, they, he'd just destroy them. But 
they have they've had no problem keeping up with them in the past. You remember Sonic Heroes <clears throat> just running right by with them because it has to Sonic work with the game. Heroes. Yeah, like the racing game. <clears throat> but in a race, Sonic wouldn't hold and back. And they already made they already made Sonic R. No one wants to <laughs> see that again. You remember Sonic Adventure 2 when they're in the space station and Sonic and Shadow are racing and it's like the coolest shit ever? Well, that's Shadow. Yeah. And then they bring in Silver. They want to have more than two characters. <laughs> but anyway, Walmart leaked this, so they had to announce it. So there isn't much info. <clears throat> Yeah. The character they dropped the Sega portion because it's uh it's made by Sumo Digital who made All Stars or Sega and Sonic All Stars Racing and All Stars yeah. Racing Transform. It's a nice video. You so it's guaranteed to be good. Why Sumo wouldn't Digital they, will not mess up? Why wouldn't they include all the Sega characters? Why why would they just include? I don't include know. Them? They dropped the uh, Sega portion and they dropped the transforming. So, but can I play as Danica Patrick? No. God damn it. This game is trash. Oh, I forgot you was in that game. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's <is> not trash. <laughs> apparently, apparently there's a team aspect now. Ooh. But I mean it is Double called dash? Sonic it is called it's just literally called Sonic Team Racing, so Team Sonic. So Double Racing. Dash? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean more like C T R. More like you have another actual person playing another character and you're teamed up. I don't know how that's going to work, though. Uh, yeah. yeah. 15 playable I, characters, by the way. All yes. from Sonic games. Ooh. <clears throat> what say you, Dan? <clears throat> but Sumo cool. Digital Sonic Racing games are quality. So despite what well, may be less features, I still have faith. It's just odd they wouldn't include other... Sega characters. Because it's Sonic mm. Racing, not Sega Racing. Well, well the last well, two were Sonic and games. Sega Racing. Yeah. Yeah, but this one's just Sonic. <clears throat> they did their they did their research and they found out no one cared about the other Sega characters, so they uh they're just going Possibly, off. I don't, I don't have the stats on that, so I mean I'm sure Sega does. Like they didn't do this for no hey, reason. I played as I played as Vice and Someone else. Isn't Wreck It Ralph in that game too? For some reason. Yes. Yeah. That. How is that Sega? <laughs> I don't know how they match that. And then, and then there's a platform exclusive like PC has TF2. Right. Huh. I don't know what the other ones are. TF2. Yeah, I that think the spy so... flies, the heavy drives, and someone else is in the boat. That's so random. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is this is Walmart. Quality game, keep your eye out. Probably Switch, Xbox good. One, PS4, PC. <laughs> yeah. The Switch gets it. Yes. Woo. Yeah, everything gets it. PS4, Xbox One, PC, Switch. Also, the power-ups in these games aren't stupid. What does that mean? There's no, there's no like wind, like you know, like Bullet Bill, Blue Shell. All uh -huh. the power-ups you have to, you either have to aim or they're just not. Or... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like. Well, there's a couple you don't have to aim, but none of them are broken. Is the point? I like that. Not that that's like a bad thing. In Mario Kart, it's just different for this game. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I remember playing All Stars Racing Transformed and like, um, having to like aim certain items. Well, I guess you have to do that in Mario Kart too with uh with the green shell. Green shell. And Other like than bananas that, and stuff. Kind of bananas. <clears throat> I mean, most... Mario Kart Eight really defensive anyway. Like you usually just hold on to the bananas and green shell. Don't you always do that? Well, yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're in it first, because you can't hold something behind you and use an item anymore. Yeah. Nerfed. <laughs> Barely. By the way, quality driving mechanics. Less broken items. Go kart racer. I have faith. 
Eh, here's the hoping. Oh, they're, they're going to be uh, wisps in this game. Yeah, they're, the wisps. Are, the power ups are based off the wisps now, not the snowballs and the rockets and the Does bees it have and a stuff. Child garden? No. <laughs> I don't care. Our our child's obstacles that you can run over. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> Mega Man Eleven you launches. Want to talk to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> you got some. You got some issues. You to... Where's Aaron? What has she been doing to you? All right. Did she break up with you again? Uh-huh. All right. Um... Mega Man Eleven launches October second. So I thought Mauricio was gonna be here. Yeah. I mean, the game's probably going to be fine, but I really have to question why they make the original Mega Man games when those were all terrible. And they could make Mega Man X or Mega Man Zero. 30th anniversary. So many more. I... Yeah, well, fair enough. That, that, that's, the re so that, that's literally the reason they said. They're like, oh, we're making a new Mega Man game in celebration of his 30th anniversary. Oh, fair enough. Anyways, the art style looks nice. <laughs> probably good. That's a very controversial opinion. The original Mega Man games are trash. They are. Have you played them? No. <laughs> I played one for like five minutes and I was done. They're, they're I played X for like five minutes. I need to beat it. Okay. If you want to swap powers, don't you have to like pause and go, like, scroll through a list? Yeah, I believe so. Whoa, this art style looks looks like an indie game. Well, it probably is. <laughs> I'm selling it for thirty bucks. I mean, thirty bucks is yeah, it's like in between. This game has the rewind feature, right? Or am I thinking of the the legacy no, the, collection? That's, that's that's the NES, yeah. That's the legacy okay. collection for the Switch. So it's wanna be braid. Yeah. Wanna be braid. Uh, okay. except not. Except you don't solve puzzles with <laughs> I, it. You just you just yeah, undo you just everything out of it. I say. What what's an indie look like? Like it, I don't know. It looks like the way a lot of indie games look. Like not, it's not a bad thing. It's what's just... that even mean? <laughs> it's that, yeah. I got... <laughs> it, has a, it has a simple art style. Yeah. Okay. It it, it looks but like your it braids. Works. It looks like like there's a couple of indie games that sort of define like that sort of set a uh, a style that's achievable on smaller budgets, but still looks really good. So basically, they're cheap. Not good enough for your eyes. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I like I like the style. It's just it just has that kind so, of style. Like it's not the kind of game. It's not the okay. kind of graphics you expect from like a Capcom or like you know AAA type developers. Not a bad thing, and with not a whole lot of gameplay footage, I don't think I didn't actually look if there's gameplay footage. There's a yeah. There's a new gameplay footage. Oh, there is. Introduces some new. Uh power-ups so you can um you can slow down time not like rewind it and you can overcharge the mega buster does that the slowing down time include you uh yeah okay 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 with with all the motion and stuff it's a little bit less indie game looking than i thought like in full motion oh i still don't understand what that means but okay i <laughs> Lerone gets me right no. All right. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> uh, like, there's levels you. of quality. I get you. You know, like, oh, that looks great. That looks interesting. That looks simple. That looks unique. But what there's the a lot. Of, there's a lot. Mean? There's a lot of indie platformers that have this kind of look, like that. That like AAA platformers don't have the same look. Okay, maybe I should actually look at it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe you have to look at it to get what I mean. I don't know. I'm looking at the trailer right now. And well, you don't count. I don't know, it looks <laughs> fine. To me. Huh. It looks fine. It doesn't look bad. It just. All right, Larone, you 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 seen it a little bit? I'm not crazy. Uh, I want to say you're wrong, but I can't entirely say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. So, anyway, um, it looks cool. Yeah, so I like the uh, the Blockman Robot Master that, that is in the trailer. 
he transforms transforms into this like giant mech thing. That's cool. All right. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. None of us are big on Mega Man, so I don't think we got much yeah. to say. Uh, I mean, I right. played a little bit of. I... <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, we've all played a little bit of Mega Man, but like, we're not all that invested. I think is it's a fair not assessment. By, like... Mega Man is a franchise I always wanted to get into. I just never did. Just out of you know. Just... Like I haven't yet. You know? I did until I played some of it, and it they're f- okay. <laughs> I played Battle Network, uh, the Star Force games, a little bit of Z two, and a little bit of X. I've only played a little bit of X, and X is okay. Once you get the dash boots or whatever in X, the game's fine. It's a little old school in the way that it's come. And total bullshit when you die most of the time. But. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's so many like leaps of faith and stuff. Like, I, I that's like my least favorite kind of platformer design, where there's like leaps of faith or oh, you have to fall down a hole and dodge things that you don't know are there yet. And I don't know. <laughs> I, I get what but, you mean. That was the Super Nintendo era where they were still stuck in the hole. We need to make games long, and we're gonna make them long by killing you randomly and making you start over. That was more NES that's than ne- SNES, that's, but that's NES. Yeah, like that. That's actually NES games. A little bit, a little bit. Like some games did it. Like some games did it well. Like Yoshi's Island doesn't do any of that, and that's a long game. Yeah, it's a legitimately long game. game. The the point. Yeah, it's it's a very good game. game. (laughs) It's a very good game. That is a very good game. Strong example. Why don't they make Yoshi games like that anymore? Why are they all? Why they became Kirby games for no reason? Yeah, they they have become Kirby games. Isn't Wooly World like the best thing ever or something? It's, it's really great. It's fun, but it's not challenging in the slightest. It's not, it's not, it's no, no Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Like it Yoshi's is. Yoshi's Island is funny. It is great. <clears throat> it's, it's buttery smooth. The mechanics are fun. It looks amazing. Define challenging. I wouldn't call Yoshi's Island challenging. I, I'll, I call it challenging to 100% it. It's challenging. I mean, I guess if you just walk through half the levels. Yeah, I guess. Like it's not it's 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 not as hard as Tropical Freeze. I mean, okay, think of it. Yeah, this way. Yoshi's Island is it's closer to a Kirby game than it. Or sorry, it's closer to a Donkey Kong game than it is to a Kirby game. Whereas I agree with that. Closer to a Kirby game. Yeah. Yep, I think that's that's a <clears> like, good summarization. Like Donkey Kong kept the challenge, Kirby kept the lack of challenge, and Yoshi just kind of did whatever the hell it wanted, which was apparently not be. To be fair, Yoshi Yoshi games, some of them have been like Yoshi's story was extremely easy. I still haven't played yeah. that. It's probably the easiest game I've ever you played. Don't, you don't really need to. Like, you really don't need <laughs> to play Yoshi's story. Like Wow. The, the Yoshi's Island and the DS, both of them are they're mediocre. Especially yeah, the third playing, one. Well no no no, no no Yoshi's no. Island DS third now. Actually bad. The, the <laughs> DS one is mediocre. That new yeah. island thing. Is bad. hot garbage. Is garbage. Yeah, I've only literally everything about it is garbage. It's so bad. I recently saw a de- is horrible. I saw a defense yeah, of that soundtrack even, even somewhere recently. Uh, yeah. How do you mess up music in a Yoshi game? Like it's, it's so like yeah. well, it's it's already been done. Like. <laughs> The asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we should start a barbershop quartet. Let's, uh, let's, make, let's make that our go- out- outro. Well, well, <laughs> the asshole. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Okay. Mitch, Mitch, find a link to that. Yeah. I'll I'll make sure that's our outro. <laughs> um. Yoshi Story, Yoshi Story is so biz- it's such a bizarrely short game. But like it's made for multiple playthroughs. Like, yeah, yeah, that's the you, thing. You, if you play the game, you've beaten a fourth of the levels. <laughs> Not even. You, to, you can like to to like way less than that. Like you can beat quote unquote beat the game by playing like an eighth of the game, and that's like a casual playthrough. Like you could accidentally play through the game that way. You're supposed. 
like to get to the higher number levels, you have to find the collectibles. And based on how many collectibles you find is how many levels you have access to. So like to do the four straight run, you have to pretty much find everything. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's like the melons only challenge. Melons right? only challenge, yeah. I heard about that. It's one of those games that's really there's not a whole lot to it, but like at the same time there is. It's a very I, I, strange I, I, game. I think that's the reason they didn't make a second or another one like it. <laughs> that's not true. There was wasn't there another I I thought there was like a similar Yoshi story esque game. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was for one of the mobile consoles, I thought. Like DS or 3DS. Maybe maybe I There was Yoshi's Touch and Go. There was Yoshi's uh... I thought there was another game where Yoshi ate fruit. Turvy. Yoshi has a lot of games where he rides a ball. <laughs> Yoshi eating fruit game. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know how to search for this. <laughs> Just search Yoshi. I don't even know Yoshi story for N64. I don't know if there's another Yoshi story. Yeah, no, no, there's not another Yoshi story. But I thought there was another. Uh, I don't know. Something. There was something. Oh. Oh. Yoshi. I'm thinking of Yoshi Demo. That game never... Uh, that, that, that was, was there was There was a tech demo for the Game Boy Advance that was uh, like... That looked like Yoshi's story art style wise. But it, is, it was never actually made into a real game. So, never knew that. whoops. That's what I was thinking of. Anyway, that was a tangent. Uh, Mega Man I, I launches October second. Yoshi's Island, Yoshi Island DS, real quick. Okay. I like that they introduced different powers for the dating mechanic, but like the game is so slow and like the levels are so long, it's kind of boring. You know, okay. no one ever said the DS games were good. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's I no know. there's no doubt that Yoshi's Island was the best Yoshi's game ever made. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a given. I put Yoshi's Island some of the best 2D platformers ever made. Yeah, I think oh, Yoshi's yeah. Island is one of the best 2D it's platformers. Fine with ever that. Made. And it's got it's got some of the most interesting mechanics and. It's might be yeah. the it must be it might be the best like platformer for speedrunning, also <laughs> ever made. It's best speedrunning game you said? Yeah, best best speedrunning platformer. Okay, I was gonna say you clearly haven't seen the two world speedrun. The two world speedrun? You know where you run into the first town. And you yeah, okay. Beat the big bad because he's there to taunt you, and then the villagers beat the crap out of him. <laughs> that is a pretty decent speedrun. It's. <laughs> you know they announced a third one of those. Like, <laughs> the world pretty much had a, a universal heart attack when they announced the second one. Just like, how? I they announced the third one. And that was I like, played that for a bit. <laughs> well, there you go. Two Worlds 2. Uh, two Worlds 2 was actually hot garbage. It was somehow worse than the first one. New the first what? one, the first one looks game, terrible. <laughs> the first one, you see, you buy it for like three bucks, and you just mm. have a blast with it. It's just one of those games. It's like the room, you know. It's, it's so bad. yeah. It's a so bad it's good get kind of game. Yeah. <laughs> and then like Two Worlds Two was just bad. <laughs> it's kind of like all those people who bought that one like truck racing game because it was just absolutely awful. <laughs> big rigs. Yeah, big rigs. But there's no speed limit in reverse. <laughs> yeah, big rigs over the some racing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That game is definitely in the category of so bad it's good. You are a winner. <laughs> that, that 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 game is a steaming pile of garbage, but I have played it and it is indeed quite fun. Uh, all right. Anyway, I think it's a good time to go into our final topic here. Uh, active, active shooter game. Uh, for those who don't know, Active Shooter is a game that lets players act out a school shooting. 
It's kind of fucked. Um, it's slated to release on June 6th, 2018. Oh. Steam, Steam removed it. Yeah. So, uh, I, I yeah, it. slated to release. However, uh, Valve <laughs> has responded to the controversy and has pulled the game after a lot of open criticism. They're not the ones who made the game, to be clear. Though a lot of people are almost writing their articles as if they are. <laughs> Even though so, Valve has never actually never actually defended it, they just hadn't taken it down, and people took that as Valve supports this game. But see, they're like a note on that is there was another game roughly four or five years ago called Hatred, which is pretty much where you have to go be Michael Myers and hunt down a bunch of like random people in the streets and do brutal and awful things to them. That game faced a similar controversy, and it also got pulled from Steam. But Gabe Newell himself showed up, and he was like, no, freedom of speech, bitches, and he put it right back up there. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of confused that he hasn't done it again. So they're like, this, is a, this, to be fair, is <laughs> like a little different, because this is... This tr- this can truly this truly offends a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, first of all, this is in really I think this is something we can all agree with. This is really poor taste. Yeah, yeah. and an awful time. <laughs> yeah, very awful timing. But the, yeah. the dev probably did this just to get publicity. Yes, it's you it's know. actually just uh-huh. a, an asset swap where they go in and they buy a pre-made game and they just like swap a couple things and then sell that. It's just they're looking at like a quick buck, and now they have publicity. Yeah. Like, you would be surprised how many of the games on Steam are actually games that are, are just, like, tutorial missions for how to use the engine. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those. Yeah. Um, I'm curious as to how everyone lies on this issue. Do you think it should have been taken down or do you stand with freedom of speech i think, I think that i well, i think that's a loaded I mean, question that that's that's a loaded question freedom of speech yeah hold well, on that, that's the <laughs> argument people have for this like oh you know, freedom of speech yeah, yeah if you, you want this game right taken to... down you hate freedom of speech that's not how freedom of speech works man I, I, yeah <laughs> as far as the freedom of speech argument goes it's valve's call because valve's not the government yeah, that's the thing. Whatever they want that's to true. This isn't. This game isn't being against, isn't against the law. Like, freedom of speech is to stop government persecution. Not Valve can put whatever games they want on their store. Like, true. If this game does bad press for Valve, they'll take it down. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> I don't know why people are so well, surprised by this. Have. Like, oh, it's freedom of speech. You should have the right to. People say that about a lot of things. They just don't really understand. Okay, okay freedom right. freedom of speech. <laughs> yeah, hold on, wait. Freedom of speech. Does that mean that anyone should be able to publish a game whenever they feel like it on Steam? Because that's yeah, currently not possible that's either. Not so you where... mean like before they had licensing and stuff? Yeah, like right now, <laughs> like like I could not make a game and publish it on Steam right now. Does that mean my freedom of speech is violated? Like... Technically, yes. Then they <laughs> should. Compl- I, I, they I, should compl- I guess they should complain about that then. I guess <laughs> well, because there's a lot of freedom of speech problems free- here. Freedom of speech protects you from the government. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think we're all clear on that. We <laughs> like <laughs> Valve has. Like I, I get that some people are like, well, you know, like like companies upholding freedom of speech <laughs> is also a good thing. Like and that's fine. The government can't. The government can't stop you from speaking your. Mind. They also, Yo, over time. At the same time, they don't have to give you a microphone, you know? <laughs> that's what's happening. If Valve is not the government and they're taking away the microphone. Yeah. Yeah, that's not like this. It's not like... Like, you can still buy this game, I'm sure. Just like, just because it's not on Steam, right. Like, it's slightly less convenient to get the game? Like, come on. Also, apparently, the the gaming company has a history of customer abuse, publishing copyrighted material, and user review manipulation. So they were already under review to get like banned from Steam, anyways. Mm. So that, that, that explain why they didn't step in with this one. Yeah, this. Yeah, he. Oh, oh no. Okay, this guy has his old game company that he had was already banned from. Steam. He made a new game company and then released this game. Okay. So, wow. He's already been banned from Steam once. This is okay. just them rebanning the same dude. 
that explains a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it'd be pretty hard not to side in favor of Valve's decision here. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Valve. Yeah. So, game, made in poor taste. It's their platform. They have the right to take it down. Yeah, Freedom it, of speech is not in violation it's here. Extremely poor taste. Yeah. Um, I, I hope this doesn't become a trend with video indie video game devs making like games like this in order to gain publicity. It's you know? it's a lot. It's a it's a lot of effort for probably minimal oh, reward. Do you guys remember the the Dead Space controversy, where EA hired a bunch of protesters to come out and complain about the game? No. <laughs> what? I, I have not heard of this. <laughs> I don't really remember the specifics, but yeah, they, they hired protesters to protest the game to, to drive up publicity. That's amazing. Because the game was being marketed towards like 14 and 15 year olds, even though it was M rated. <laughs> Which was a whole different controversy. But yeah, people devs have done some stupid stuff. Yeah. See if I can find a video on that. And that's the biggest video game dev in the world, so. I think. Are they? Valve? Is Valve uh, the biggest video game dev? I'm actually not sure. I, I have a feeling it's probably EA. Just thinking of all the franchises that they have that are huge. Like, it's gotta be. In 2016, you mean all the ones they killed? That too. The largest public game, the the largest largest public companies by game revenue were Tencent, followed by Sony. Wait, who? And Activision and Blizzard. Wait, what's number one? What is Tencent? What is, it? is that the holding company for EA or something? So I didn't think about Sony. That makes a lot of sense. So based up on how this website has it based on their Metacritic releases and somehow EA is number one <laughs> followed by Square Enix and Nintendo then Sony. Oh yeah, Nintendo. <laughs> Square Enix is above Nintendo? Really? <laughs> That's for number of releases though, right? <laughs> I'm not really sure I'm looking at here. Uh, unique title start. So, at the, okay, okay, I see, I see. They're doing... They're averaging the games, but they're only averaging it from the professional reviewers or whatever, not the user score. So, this is pretty much a bot list. Wait, Telltale Games made seven games for that? Hmm. That explains why it was terrible. Telltale Games is such an interesting game company. Well, they had like one good game and then they just kept making it. Yeah, accurate. I should play a Telltale yeah. game though. It's like the perfect kind of game for me to play right now. <laughs> you should play. The Walking Dead. Tales of the Borderlands or the Batman one. Yeah, Bo Tales no. of the Borderlands is probably the one I would play. Lerone only cares about that because Laura Bailey's. Tales of the. Don't listen to this. I, 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 I like the Borderland universe though, so I feel like I would probably Those and the art style. Terrible. But they well, the look first half, not half bad. The but they're all garbage. But they're but like the the interactions are funny. The dialogue's good. Yeah. It, and it, the art style yeah. is is great for that type of game specifically. <laughs> but I, I think that's all we got for you. I think that 30 seconds of silence is indication that we are done here. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to play you guys out with the Yoshi story theme. Uh, we'll all sing along. Is That isn't copyrighted? Probably is. Yeah. That's fine. I, I won't put it in the YouTube video. Alright, Jake, we're on a delay here, so you lead. Yeah, well, they're not on the... We're not... They're not on the... You lead. 
Wait, this doesn't have... Is that is that even part of the theme? No, I think that... Pretty sure that's not part of the theme. A Nintendo... Well... The, the, the asshole thing. It's from like a, a Nintendo parody video. No, yeah, no, no, but... That's what it sounds like. He means the original <laughs> song, which is in yeah, Yoshi's not... Story. I just... It's not part of the main theme. Oh, did I not get the right one? Well, uh, this didn't have the asshole, so, uh... I'll find it. Oh, I have it, I have it. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Yoshi story. There's pick either. Uh... Actually, pick Julian, so this is probably better. This is just, like, the intro where they say it a couple times. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Asshole, asshole. The asshole. <laughs> 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 All right, well. Thanks everyone for listening yeah. today. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, <laughs> follow, yeah, follow, follow the stream. stream. Follow the stream. Follow the stream. Follow up. I gotta. Follow the stream. I gotta get my link. <laughs> <laughs> Ast. All right. So uh, also we'll take this uh, opportunity to shout out our sponsors, PUBG Corp. Uh, go play PUBG. PUBG Corp. <laughs> go play PUBG. Fortnite Maybe. is utter garbage Ooh. made by people who. <laughs> Uh, killed Who stole puppy. the genre of battle? Yeah, royale? they they, 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 they stole they stole battle royale games <laughs> and they kill puppies as part of making the game. So, <laughs> yeah, play PUBG. I was like, that was my opinion on that whole issue. If anyone cared about that, the PUBG devs have lost their mind. <laughs> well, your Twitter there too, Laro. You say that every week. I I do say that every week. <laughs> You should follow it. I do follow it. What? Yeah, I followed you, like, yesterday. Oh, that does say two. <laughs> well, I don't oh, get that. Alright, good night, everyone. Twitch followers. Yeah.